Hey guys, wanted to do a quick update, final update video on the 12 Model 12 Savage Benchrest that I've been working on here, oh, about the last month and a half. I've actually decided to just move on with it. Um, the accuracy that I was seeing from it just really was not doing it for me. I've went through about $250 worth of powder and different projectiles trying to find a... Uh, load that this rifle liked and I just I just couldn't do it. I think the, the accuracy is there. I just do not have the time to put into that to get it to shoot like it should at 100 yards. There's some here's some targets to give you guys kind of an idea of what it was doing. This was about representative of the groups that I was consistently getting which that's a good group. That is a really good group right there at 110 yards but for the price of the rifle and for what I was wanting to do with it, that's just, it's just not going to cut it. The, um, I tried all sorts of different projectiles as well as powder weights and uh, just could not get it to, to really group. I did have a few good groups out of it. I mean, here's one using some 80 grain burgers. So, I mean, I know the accuracy is there. It just, I just literally do not have the time to put into getting a load. This was probably the hardest rifle that I've ever had as far as getting loads worked up on. Here's a here's a ladder test I did and this is pretty representative of the group sizes that I was consistently getting. I mean they were they were an inch or under at 100 yards which by all rights that's that's a great group but for a bench rest rifle in that type of a caliber that's just not going to get it done. Um, here's some more. These are all at 110 yards. And like I said it's just there's some that were that were pretty good, and uh, most of these were shot all with Varget powder. The uh, best groups that I did see were with uh, around the oh 29 to 30 and a half grain range. Um, here's some with a 26 grain charge. I think it was just I don't know. It was just uh, I think it may have been more possibly me than the rifle, but. Like I said, I decided to just uh, move on with it, and uh, there's a gentleman that really wanted it, and uh, I think he'll have the little bit more time to put into it than I will, but uh, and I'm sure he's going to be very happy with it, but for what uh, I was wanting to do with it, and for the time that I had to put into it, I just couldn't do any more. Um, here's, some, here's some more, and like I said, if, you know, the rifle was a great shoot and loved the trigger. Um, it was a gorgeous rifle. It's just... Sometimes our uh, our rifles just aren't meant to be, you know, no matter how hard we try. But the um, and I did shoot a couple of 200 yard ones, and they were they were just mediocre at best. I mean, I've got far cheaper rifles that shoot better than this at 200 and 300 yards. It's just I don't know. It's just finding the sweet spot, getting the note of the rifle, and I just for whatever the reason, I just couldn't do it. Um, sometimes. Rifles can get the best of us, and this was one of them that did, and I'm not uh, definitely not ashamed to admit it, but uh, uh, if you guys got any questions on this project, like I said, I'm kind of filing it away. It's, uh, it's a done deal. I'm going to move on to other things, so I'm not going to be shooting any bench rest this year, but uh, perhaps next year I'm uh, going to be dabbling in PRS series possibly. Got a couple buddies wanting to do that, so probably going to be looking forward to that this upcoming spring and summer. Um, as always, if you have any questions on this or any of the others, or if there's something you guys would like to see, please feel free to message me or send me an email. Be glad to help any way I can. Thanks, fellas. Bye.